core ease and core power are at the center of this Ling's myofascial training practice. Hi, and a warm welcome. You can take a seat in a basic long sit, if available, close the legs. Hold on behind the knees and then gently pull the heels towards the sit bones, lifting right on top onto the sit bones. Release the pull, engage your pelvic floor and abdominals, draw the lower belly back, tilt the pelvis back, and now you have a long, even curve in the spine. So the aim is not to go as far or as low as possible, but be as even as possible in your curl. And then you can roll forward, bring the top of the head close to the knees, pull the heels towards the sit bones, lift the pelvis and curl up the spine. Exhalation curl. Pause with your inhalation, expand the back of the rib cage. Exhalation, roll forward into spine stretch. And then pull the heels towards the sit bones, engaging your spine extensor muscles, gradually releasing pelvic floor and abdominals. One more time. So we are mobilizing the hip joints and the spine. Engaging the abdominals, so core strength, and create length in your back, muscularly and also in terms of fascial glide and adaptability. One more time, tilt the pelvis back. This time you let the breath flow. You slide your heels along the floor. You move the microphone belt out of the way, <laughs> if you're wearing one, and then you lift your feet off the floor and you roll back very slowly into a restful pose, hugging the knees towards the chest. Step one foot after the other onto the floor. Place your legs about hip distance apart, parallel, heels fairly close to the sit bones, arms on the floor at chest height. Once again, you engage your pelvic floor, abdominals from the inside out to tilt the pelvis back. Pelvic curl, peeling the spine away from the floor, one vertebra at a time, until you are in a shoulder bridge position. In the shoulder bridge, your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles remain engaged from the inside out and your hip extensors and your spine extensors assist the position. Reach out from the knees. Start to roll down slowly by closing the front of the rib cage and then imprinting one vertebra at a time until your pelvis is resting on the floor, centered. Minimal activity, muscular activity. One more time. Initiate the pelvic curl with an exhalation. Then you let the breath flow. So once again, this is core strength, spinal mobilization. It's back strength and it's also back ease. Roll down slowly. Promoting glide between the fascial layers of your back. Center the pelvis and then slide your right leg out and fold the left leg over the right into a kneesful twist. Take a massage dome, place it flat side down onto the outside of the knee and with the dome, you just stabilize the leg. Now your focus is on your left arm, your left shoulder. Left shoulder is on the floor and you're slowly gliding the arm overhead as far as comfortable in your body. And then you're sliding the arm down in a semi-circular motion. So down towards the body, and then you fold the hand over. So palm is facing down. Fold the hand again, palm is facing up, and you semi-circle the arm up overhead as far as comfortable. You semicircle it along the floor down 
And then you fold the forearm, you fold the hand, palm facing down one more time, gliding up. Multidimensional mobilization of the shoulder and a wonderful pectoralis release. So we're getting to the different fibers of this really wide muscle. Next time the shoulder is at chest height, you keep it there. You place the dome onto the floor and then you push with your arm onto the dome and it basically rolls your body back into a supine position. Slide your right leg back. Both legs are hip distance apart, bent, feet at the same level. Pelvic tilt into a pelvic curl. Balancing on the go, core strength after the core ease. Roll down again. And you feel this contrast between the strong pelvic floor abdominal engagement and the release at the end. Slide your left leg out and fold the right leg over. Place the dome onto the side of the knee again and keep your leg in space. You can turn your head towards the right arm and glide the arm up towards your head. Again, as high as your shoulder permits. And then you glide it down along the floor if you can. Maybe it lifts off the floor at the moment, so that's okay. Otherwise, you just release a little bit the pressure onto the leg so your pelvis can roll back. Glide the arm up again. Ooh, I've got the folding. So turn your palm down towards the floor, turn it up. Fine thing that makes a difference. Now you glide the arm up overhead and you're gliding the arm down towards the pelvis. And then again, you're turning the palm towards the floor and we go one more time. So envision your pectoralis major muscle like a fan that from the sternum spreads out across the rib cage. And with circling the arm, you can imagine you're spreading the fan wide open. And then turning the palm down and one more time you glide out until your arm is at chest height. Place the dome onto the floor, press onto the dome and let your pelvis roll back into a supine position. You can place the dome behind your head. Place your arms alongside of the body, palms facing down towards the floor. And we're going into pelvic curl again. So pelvic floor, abdominal muscle activation, initiate the movement. You're curling up, peeling the spine away from the floor. Your back extensor muscles, your hip extensor muscles are joining in. Now you're staying in the shoulder bridge position. Open through the front of the hips. One line from the knees to the hips to the shoulders. Arm arc, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and overhead. If your arm, arms touch the floor, that's great. If they don't touch the floor, that is great too. Circle your arms around. And when they are close to the body, fold the palms down. Arms overhead, arm arc. Arm circle forward, roll the shoulders, arms overhead, arm arc, arm circle, one more time. So while we are strengthening the hip extensors here, the spine extensors along with the abdominals, you are mobilizing the shoulders multidimensionally and you're once again, lengthening your pectoral muscles along with powerful shoulder muscle latissimus dorsi. And now you can roll down, bringing ease into your back, into your abdominals and your pelvic floor when you're centered on the floor again. Circle your arms out, open them, open the knees into a diamond position. 
and then bounce the knees up and down. That's a butterfly movement. Let the knees spring up. Parallel and hip distance the legs again. This time the feet a little bit further away from the sit bones. So you have about a 90 degree angle in the knees. Raise your arms up towards the ceiling. Interlace the hands. Place your hands behind your head. So you can create a support for your head. You can even apply very light traction on your upper neck. Engage to your center again, pelvic floor deep abdominals. And then with your next inhalation, move your elbows closer together until they point up towards the ceiling. Exhalation, curl up, big arch, elbows towards the knees, pause with your inhalation. Exhalation, open your elbows. Inhalation, bring your elbows closer together. Exhalation to open. Inhalation, moving forward. Now keep going in your own rhythm. So your pelvic floor, your abdominals are fully engaged from the inside out. Your lower belly is drawing back. The pelvis remains centered. The lower back is elongated. When you open the elbows, you maintain the height. When you bring the elbows closer together, you want to keep the sense of width in the chest. Pause, roll back slowly, letting the breath flow. Rest your head on the floor in your hands. Open your elbows wide. If you can rest your elbows on the floor, that's great. If not, that is great too. Slide your heels closer towards your sit bones. And then pelvic curl, tilt the pelvis back and roll up. Opening the front of the hips. Although the pelvic floor muscles are engaged here, they are unloaded in terms of organ weight because you're in an inversion. And then roll down slowly again. So we're going from that endurance core strength, curl up, to core strength, but in motion with the pelvic curl. Release your hands. Take the massage domes forward next to your pelvis. Raise your arms up towards the ceiling. Float one leg into tabletop. Float the other leg into tabletop. Connect the legs. Curl up. Hold on behind the knees. Curl fully. Press your legs into the hands. Roll up into spine stretch. And then pull the heels towards the sit bones, elongating the spine. Now you can take the two massage domes, <laughs> put them together so they form a ball. And now we are placing this ball between your knees. The angle in the knees is wide, so you can sit right on top of your sit bones. Feel free to sit elevated. That is great too. So from here, arm arc, and now spiraling twist towards the left. Place your right arm against the outside of the knee. And with your next inhalation, press the arm against the leg. Exhalation, release. As you inhale and press, the spine is spiraling up and around. Slight recoil of the spine with the exhalation. Now you can turn your palm forward. Reach the arm a little bit higher. One more time, reach it higher on a diagonal, and now you exhale, tilt the pelvis back, cross your arms, and spiraling twist, let the breath flow towards your right side. With your inhalation, press your left arm against the leg, exhalation, release, stay tall. Inhalation, press, spiral up and around, Release two more times like so. So the pressure of the arm is spiraling the spine around one more time like this. And now you are turning the palm forward. Lift your right arm a little bit higher as you spiral. Exhale one more time. Arm up on a diagonal, spiraling up and around. Curl. 
and inhale. Exhale, a slight recoil. Reach up and release. Reach up, curl. And changing side, inhale. Slight recoil, keep the length. Reach up, spiral. Keep the length in your spine. Reach up and now deliberate curl because it feels really good. One more time, inhale, exhale. Reaching, so we are strengthening deep spinal muscles. We are mobilizing the spine. We are creating curl, elasticity in the fascia around the spine along with tensile strength. Inhale, reach, spiral, elastically lengthened recoil. One more time, reaching up, you curl. And then, of course, there is the core strength. Reaching up, staying centered, because all along you have been using your adductors pathway to the pelvic floor to keep the domes in place. So the domes go onto the floor. Once again, if available, you close the legs. You tilt, you don't tilt the pelvis back yet. No, you open the legs. <laughs> Let's bring some core ease into the body. So you're in a diamond position. We could actually use the domes because that's fun. So domes on the inside of the knees, flat side down. And now you bounce the legs. So here's the trick. Your spine is actively elongated. And then the bouncing of the legs is done through the hands, like the spiraling of the spine was done through the arm. So can you keep the lift in your pelvis, the length in your spine, yet let the hip joints be loose and that looseness in the joint tensions and, and detensions, it kind of elasticizes, that's how I want to feel it, the fascia of the adductors in, in this way tensions the fascia of the pelvic floor. So any core tensions that might have snuck in, now we wriggle them out and then release. Now the domes go to the floor. You close the legs, you hold on behind the knees, you pull the heels towards the sit bones first and then release the pull, tilt the pelvis back Curl back with your arms, lift the legs, and then you roll back into a restful pose, which is exactly what it sounds like, completely restful. Because we need a little bit of rest before our next core sequence. So feet onto the floor, the domes go behind the head again, the pelvis is centered. You can just move your feet a little bit away from the sit bones again. Find the natural uh, alignment in your lower back. And then you can reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Interlace your hands. Place your hands behind your head. Engage through the center some more. And then float one leg into tabletop. Float your other leg into tabletop and explore your range. So you can bring the knees a little closer, pelvis stay centered or directly above the knees. Elbows towards the ceiling. With your next exhalation, curl up. With your inhalation, stay. And with your exhalation, open your elbows. Inhalation, elbows towards the knees. Exhalation, open. If you want to, extend your right leg as the elbows open. Bend the knee, elbows forward. Extend the left leg. And bend the knee, elbows forward. Now, at any time, your feet can be on the floor, just the way you did before, or you don't need to extend the legs. The main thing you're paying attention to is your core activity. 
pelvic floor, abdominals, lower abdominals fully engaged. You are drawing the belly wall back at all times. If you see your belly rising, then you adapt the movement. There's really no good there. Now, pause here. Restful pose. Ah. Step one foot onto the floor, the other foot onto the floor. Open your elbows wide. And then tilt the pelvis back. Curl up into a shoulder bridge position. And for a moment, stay in the shoulder bridge position. Still engaged in your pelvic floor, yet unloaded in terms of organ weight. Engaged in your abdominals, though very much supported through your back muscles, your spine extensors. Also active, the hip extensors. And now you roll down and you're making a choice based on your current core feeling. So remember the criteria is pelvic floor, deep abdominals must stay engaged. Your belly wall stays flat. Feet on the floor, always a good option. If you want to take the feet off the floor, of course you can. And we will add a twist, so see how you go. You could do it with one foot on the floor. Center engaged, one leg into tabletop second leg into tabletop, and then elbows to ceiling, you curl up. We do progressive start here. With your next exhalation, extend the right leg, open your elbow, elbows forward. So if you want to stay here, absolutely fine. If you want to add a twist, you twist <laughs> towards the left and then back forward and towards the right. So towards the leg, that stays bent. Now the feeling here is left elbow reaches up to the ceiling and center. The right elbow reaches up and both forward. We go one more time with each leg. Now it's just one and you pause. You lower the right leg onto the floor, you reach forward, you rest your head on the floor while drawing the right leg in. Left arm out to the side, you fold the right leg over into an easy twist. Take a dome, place the flat side of the dome onto the side of the leg. This time we are rocking the leg. So your left shoulder, your left arm this time stay still and you are gently, rhythmically rocking the leg with your right arm. Now you're not only rocking the leg and the pelvis, you mainly rock the spine, your thoracic spine, mid upper back. Now here, this is about core ease. So how at ease can you be inside of your body? You just did a whole lot of abdominal work. Now it's time to unwind because we have one more round to do. <laughs> so you can roll into a supine position again. Actually, let's put the dome behind the head. Slide the leg back. Interlace the hands, if you like. Interlace them the other way around. Place your hands behind your head. Engage through the center, lift one leg into tabletop, second leg into tabletop, elbows to ceiling, exhalation, curl up, inhale, pause, left leg, exhalation, extend, inhalation, bend, right leg, and bend, twist to the right, and back to center, twist to the left. So your pelvis is very, very stable, as if a heavy metal ball inside of your pelvis would anchor the pelvis as you rotate your upper back, reaching one elbow up towards the ceiling, opening through the pectoral muscles. Pause. Lower the right leg, left leg, I'm sorry, onto the floor. Hug the right knee towards you, relax your head. Fold the right leg over to the left. 
take a massage dome, flat side down onto the outside of the leg and start to rock the leg. The right arm is at ease, the right shoulder is on the floor. You have a rhythmical, even soothing movement here for your spine. And again, this is about ease. So the less you do in your center, the better. You do the minimum, so you feel supported from within, but then you let the unraveling take place. There's no doing required. Then you roll on your back again. Place the massage dome out of the way. Slide the leg back. Both legs, hip distance parallel, evenly bent. You can place your arms alongside of your body, palms facing down. Pelvic curl, tilt the pelvis back, roll up into a shoulder bridge. Raise your arms overhead with an arm arc, reach back, keep your arms back, roll down slowly. Give your pectoral muscles extra length here, your latissimus dorsi, extra length. And then you circle the arms around, arms parallel to the body. We go one more time, pelvic curl rolling up, an interplay of your pelvic floor, your abdominals, your back muscles, your hip extensor muscles. Then you bring length into your chest, latissimus dorsi, very big shoulder muscle that is spanning your back fascially. And then you roll down and maybe feel a wonderful opening just in the front of the shoulders down into the chest. That would be amazing. And into the lower back. And then circling your arms around. You can take the massage domes forward, so you have them handy. This time T arms, so arms to the side at chest height. And one more time, you're curling up into the shoulder bridge into the arch bridge, meaning you lift your pelvis higher. Then you slide the massage domes beneath your back, just the tip of the shoulder blades if that's available, and then you roll over the domes. Maybe you need to wriggle around a little bit so you have found the right spot, and then you can go into long stretch. This is a fish pose with the massage tones, I'm sorry. <laughs> and once again, you have this wonderful opening in the chest. Now, why am I making such a big deal here out of the pectoral muscles? Because fascially, they're very closely linked with the abdominals. And when we do strong core abdominal exercises like we just did, sometimes there is a bit of an entanglement with the pectoral muscles. Now we are disentangling. We want to disentangle our pectoral muscle from our abdominal muscles. Circle your arms around. Bend your knees. And then remove one dome. Remove the other dome. Hug your knees towards the chest. Restful pose. And then curling up, pressing the legs into the hands, into spine stretch. Pull your heels towards the sit bones. Open the knees into diamond pose. Take the domes to the inside of the knees. You know what is coming. Rock the legs. Bring ease to your pelvic floor, if you like. You lean forward. We have also engaged hip extensor muscles quite strongly also. Deep, deep muscles that are closely linked to the pelvic floor. Let's get some ease into these muscles as well. And then back up to the center, domes to the floor. 
knees closed. I hope you feel absolutely wonderful in your core, strong and at ease.